as the price for fresh fruits and vegetables are on the rise. Latasha Delgado is working on her New Year resolution, but is on a budget. I definitely try to eat healthier. Um, I know that sometimes it can be expensive, so I really do enjoy going to farmers markets since they can give you a better price, especially if um, something's in season. And that's where the recently launched homegrown market app is there to help. Everything is local. No more guessing where that tomato, honey or spice came from. I don't put any kind of chemical in anything, not even the anti-caking. Myra Beecham founded the Salter Path Spices in the 90s and sells her homemade goods at local farmers markets and of course on the app. If you head to your local grocery store for produce, getting some romaine lettuce like this it's going to cost you about $2.49, but if you go to a farmer's market, it's going to cost you $1.49 for the same thing. Unlike regular stores, there's room to negotiate the prices you want to pay. I really like that I can find things locally and kind of help my farmers and also get a good deal. Robert also likes the idea of reducing food ending up in the trash. Because one of the issues that farmers have is, is, is food waste. You know, if, you, if, they, if they can't sell all their crops, all their products, that just goes to waste. Not anymore. With 500 downloads and counting, more people are eating fresh from the farm to the table. In Rockledge, Crystal Knowles, Spectrum News 13.